Okay guys, so to start off, I'm prepping my lips with my Lyria Lip Plumper. I just kind of let this set while I start my makeup. And then going in with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, I'm prepping my lids. Then using my Morphe 350 Matte Palette, I'm going to start my transition shade. Going in with a second shade from my 350 Matte Palette, I'm just deepening the crease. To really define my crease and to make the shimmer shadow that I'm going to use really pop, I'm going to go back in with my MAC Paint Pot and just making a really precise line up into the crease. Then taking my 350 Shimmer Palette and just patting that on top of the primer that I've just placed down. Then I'm going to hop back into the matte palette and just go back and really define that crease and just kind of smoke it out towards the outer third. Taking some makeup remover, I'm just going to sharpen up that line. And then I kind of start with my base and just let it sit for a little bit while I finish up my eyes. Now lining my eyes with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black, I believe it is. I'm also using a really thin brush that I got in the Morphe set. And this is just really nice to get those little details and right into the corner of your eye. Then I'll be applying my Luxe Mafia Lashes. Um, I do have a discount code for this that I will leave on the screen and below. I will leave a link for you guys to be able to click through and purchase. So I pop those on with my tweezers and starting with placing them in the middle and then pulling down the sides and then down into the inner corner. This day I actually used some uh, green concealer and some yellow concealer to brighten. So the green will counteract any redness or any breakouts that you might have. And then the yellow will help to brighten your under eyes and counteract any darkness that you might have. Looks a little crazy at first, but I promise it turns out all right. Then I'm going to use some setting spray on a beauty blender and just tap that into the skin. I really like this way of blending things out. It just kind of removes any excess product and then pats the product into the skin so you're still getting the coverage without too much heaviness. Then I'm going with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer for under my eye area. And you can see that the combination of these two products really do brighten up the under eye. And just sharpening along uh, my winged liner there. Next I'll be combining two shades of the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation. And again, going in with my Beauty Blender and just tapping that all over the skin. Now getting started on my lower lash line, I'm going back into that matte Morphe palette and just taking a pencil brush, this one is from Sigma, and just working that right in along the lower lash line. I kind of start with like the lighter shadows and then go back and buff in the darker ones to just really smoke it out. Now I'm using a product from Lit Cosmetics. It's this beautiful gold shimmer. I absolutely love this. It's like a metallic, so it looks wet, and I just love that look. An old favorite of mine, the uh, Vanilla Pigment from MAC, and just placing that in the inner corner of my eye. It's so beautiful. Then I'm going back with that same cream liner, and I'm just going to do my upper and lower waterline. 
I like to do this last because I find it doesn't move around too much and it won't darken the shadow uh, on the lower lash line. So it's kind of always the last step that I do generally, unless I'm specifically wanting to like really, really darken my lower lash line. Now working on the brows, to be honest, this video is a little bit old. I filmed it quite a while ago and I'm not entirely sure what I used to fill my brows, but I think it's actually just one of the shadows from that same uh, matte Morphe palette. Then going in with my NYX Contour and Highlight palette, I used a really small brush and did some really precise contouring this day. Um, usually I use a bigger brush, but I actually was quite happy with how this turned out. And then just going over the middle of my nose with the lighter kind of banana color. This blush I believe is called Melba from MAC. To be honest, I'm doing my voiceover in Mexico and I don't have a lot of the products that I used in this video, but I'm like 90% positive that's what it is. Then just going over my lashes with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I love this mascara and it's really nice to just help blend your false lashes into your regular lashes. It just makes it a little bit more seamless. And then just lightly going over my bottom lashes as well. This is one of my favorite lip liners. It is Nude from NYX and it's one of my go-tos. I have like three lip liners that I use almost every single day and this is one of them. And a little finishing spray. You can see Petri hanging out in the back. He's gonna come for a visit and say hello right now. God, I love him. It's just so sweet. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this tutorial and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!